What's up, guys? Lethal here. We're doing part two of Prey. Now, if you watched the first one, part one, you may notice there was a little bit of a difference. There is actual audio commentary on this video. I was setting up my microphone on the first one, so you didn't get any of me talking because I'm impatient. I want to start that game. <laughs> we'll get into part two. As you may recall, if you got through the whole video on the first one. I died, so we're responding from the last save, I guess. So here we are. Let's see if I die again. Maybe I'm not able to repair yet. No, so red. So that means no. Red for no. Seriously, had these the whole time. Oh, that's annoying. I could have maybe not died last time. this stuff I can heal with. Oh, I'm so mad. Okay, what else we got? After this, let's go get uh, some shit. Morgan, there, in the foyer. Mm -hmm. Grab the neuromod you see in the display case. Normally it's a fake, but I swapped in a real one for you. Hmm. The neuromods are critical. You won't survive without using them to install new aptitudes. I've already updated your transcribe with the list you requested. Take a look. Does that feel like Bioshock all of a sudden? Neuromods. How do I do I gotta hit it? Yup.
Wow. I knew you would pick that. Now, let's get you to the main lobby. No, you didn't. I didn't even know I was going to pick that. Hold on, I want to go fix this thing now that I can repair. Game's a trip. Yeah, man, this place is trash. Maybe I should be smashing more stuff. I feel like I'm learning this now. Break all the glass. <laughs> nope, maybe not that one. Someone said we're evacuating. Robert? Shh. Hang on. Someone's coming. So I heard a noise. I'm gonna go check it out. There you go. I wouldn't normally take drinks out of a bathroom, but some uh, uncertain times here. Come on, bro. I'm almost 
sort of stand. What are the crumpled papers for? I don't know if I should go into this with the mentality of like, if I can pick it up, I should pick it up. It's an old habit from other games. Anything you can pick up, you do pick up. Ooh, another body. No mod. Sign. Tennis. Ready for your first real view of the world? No. I say so ominously. <sighs> Give me all this stuff. Open the briefcase. That dude is terrifying. What? Where are we? This game's pretty dope, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a huge fan of sci-fi. This is like... The shit. It's the shit I like. What's that glow for? Oh, I'm doing it again. Just picking up anything I can. <laughs> Good morning, Talos. Our resident counselor, Dr. Cole, would like to encourage anyone experiencing oh. symptoms of disturbed sleep, chronic stress, or anxiety to schedule an appointment in the trauma center. You need to get to your office. I've updated your map. There's a video you need to see. I know you have a lot of questions. I have an office? I thought they were doing experiments on me. Station leadership has issued an alert. All personnel should report to muster stations immediately and await further instructions.
turret. over here. on noodles. different key cards. Twenty thirty one. Weird. All the universe is this. Twenty thirty. 
Talos 1 becomes fully operational, representing a monument of private space industry. The first Neuromod is released, allowing for dramatic enhancement to the human mind and body. 2025. The Transtar Board of Directors is established. Transtar purchases and privatizes the Kletka facility with a focus on safety and state-of-the-art upgrades. Isn't that three years from now? 1980 to 1994. Geopolitical developments result in a temporary hold on Project Axiom. After the unfortunate Pobeg incident, in which two research scientists lose their lives, the Kletka facility is decommissioned and cleaned. 1964. After the attempted assassination of Kennedy and Khrushchev's departure, the U.S. pays for the rights to use Kletka as a testing facility. This period, known as Project Axiom, leads to many advancements in next-generation materials and bioscience fundamental to neural modification. 1963. A top-secret Cold War negotiation culminates with Americans and Soviets working together on a research facility named Kletka. Kletka, Russian for cage, produces the skeleton and core emergency systems of what will one day become Talos 1. I think I, I went through that backwards. <laughs> oh well. We all got the information we needed. Let's see. Should I go upstairs? Let's put my off like they want me to. Nah, let's explore. Yo. I will see more intense when it was. all that stuff. All these flowers I can't do anything with. Also bullets that I can't do anything with. what I get from picking up everything I can. It's not enough. Mm, oh, I drank that beer. I'm all drunk.
the restrooms gets a whole title card. Restrooms. Where's the wall? I need to be fixed. And that side was a waste. Ah, see? I'm not picking everything up. In. Let's go up the stairs. As long as I don't get behind me, it's not that bad. Petri dish? Gross.
this over here. System alert. Repair is needed. Please contact a qualified engineer.
keep doing that? I don't know, man. I keep getting these key cards, so don't go anywhere. Zero four five one. Welcome back. This has been your home for the last three years. The video should be on your workstation. Good morning, Talos. All personnel should report to their workstations for the day. If you expect to be... talking to myself it must be your memory shot full of holes i know i'm sorry but it's permanent so the first thing you need to know is you can trust january it's an operator a sort of backup of you and me it knows what you've forgotten we've been testing a new kind of neuromod based on the typhon organisms mapping their neural patterns onto ours problem is when you uninstall a neuromod it resets your memory back to the moment you first put it in that's why you forget. There's supposed to be a process that brings you back up to speed between test runs. But someone could just skip that part. Turn a single day into your entire life. Well, that's exactly what Alex did. The question is, Fucking Alex. why? You're not going to like what I have to say next. Fucking me over. I thought I found every one of those damn videos. Sorry, but I can't let you listen to that. Not until I've had a chance to explain everything in person. Oh. For now, just. Damn it. I have to go. Just sit tight. No. Please. No. Alex, I don't trust you. cut us off from the looking glass servers time to improvise i suggest you search dr calvino's workshop in the hardware labs he invented the looking glass technology you might find a way to restore the server connections there i'm looking for another way to help you in the meantime good luck
That's why you pick up all that crap. Okay, we got our next objective. We probably should end it here. Yeah, come back for part three of Prey. We'll get down to some more business, do some exploring, find out what the hell Alex wants to talk to us about, and kill more of those mimic thingies. All right, thanks so much for coming by. See you next time, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Come back for part three. Bye!